Hello and welcome back to the video tutorial on Slide Rocket. Today we're going to be looking at how to show different transitions between uh, the different slides in your PowerPoint. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to first start out with this slide here. This is my, uh, my PowerPoint presentation on physical changes and chemical changes of matter. So first we have this slide here. And when you have the slide as a whole selected down here, um, you have this little toolbar over here on the right. <clears throat> and you have this part right here called transition. And so right now it's on none. And so what we can do is we can select that. And there are a number of different things that you can do to have a transition between this slide and the next one. So for this one, I'm going to choose Cube Rotate. And then that will give you a preview right there of how it's going to look. Now you can also change the amount of time that it's going to take. Say you wanted to, I don't know, take a little bit more time, go a little slower. Then we can try it again, and it'll go a little bit slower. You can also change the direction, whether it's from right to left, bottom to top, or left to right. So I'll leave that as right to left, and I'll preview that one more time. And that'll be the transition between the slide. Now, for the next slide, I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to select it. And then I'll take a minute to load. And I'm going to come over to transition. And for this one, I'll keep the cube rotate. But what I'm going to do is I'll go from bottom to top. So that one's going to flip that way. So it's a really neat thing that can hold a student's interest. And in between each slide, almost calls their attention back to what's going on and what you're going to be talking about. So it's a nice way to help them to refocus. And let's see, for this third slide, let's find something different that we can do. Let's have reflection. Let's take a look at what reflection looks like. That's kind of cool, so it just kind of spins from the inside. And I'll make that one go a little bit quicker. All right, and I can add to my own sound effects, or they have audio down here where you can add audio from somewhere, some kind of sound to play, and you can add that in from your computer. And let's do one more. So our fourth slide, we're going to choose doorway. Doorway is pretty neat too. And then I'll just slide to the side and the other one will come up. And again, you can choose how it slides. You can also go from bottom to top. You can go top to bottom. And there you go. And I think for this last one, I'm going to do another demo with this picture that I did in the last video. And I'm going to be here in effects. I'm going to add an effect to make a flag. And this is a really cool one. You can see that flag waving. And you can control the wind, how much and how quick how quickly it blows, and you can also get a second cross breeze, which is kind of neat. So you can make it a exceptionally windy day, or just a nice calm and breezy day. And that will wrap up our session on how to create different transitions in the slides.